Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. My name is Sifa Bryan. I'm an author and mental comfort teacher with over 30 years experience. It is the 14th of April, 2021. Welcome to my weekly quote. And let's get straight to it. The magician and the politician have much in common. They both have to draw our attention away from what they are really doing. Ben Akri. Most definitely really good um, quote there really good quote yeah the magician and the politician do have a lot in common they show you something in this hand but they're really doing something in the other hand so you've got to watch them closely now relating to watching these people closely um, I'd like to give you a bit of news from around the world and um, a little education on, on certain things. Now, one of the things I saw in one of the uh, smaller news outlets is that Richard Woodashieff heard a nudity on Monday, which was the Monday gone, the 12th. The UCC Moblin says numbers of people with protection, either through vaccination or previous infections, will hit 73.4% on April the 12th. So, herd immunity. Remember about that herd immunity, even though we know that herd immunity was reached last year. But um, I think things are coming out now creeping out into the media smaller media mainly but things are starting to creep out now they're starting to leak things out and people are going to get very angry when they see everything coming out now but i'm starting to see things leaking out a bit um another thing that i saw got leaked out and all was by the cdc but the mainstream media fake news aren't even talking about it because it doesn't fit their agenda which is 94 percent of their we call it the kung flu yeah kung flu that, that died uh was not of the kung flu they died of other causes like cancer heart disease obesity all these things 94 percent massive and that is a massive um, truther. So at the moment, all these countries are re, um, what's the word? They're, they're, they're um, looking at their numbers again. The UK came out with it, um, I think it was today, where they said that um, over 30,000 were misdiagnosed of dying of the Kung flu. So we were up to 100,000 supposed to be died in this country. But when you take, but they've, they said that 30,000 needs to be taken off that list. But I think it's probably going to be a lot more than that. When you take into consideration these PCR tests, which we know are fraudulent and 90% uh, is wrong, misdiagnosed. You could probably take off a lot more off that list and all. Um, so things are starting to creep out, but the CDC is center of control, center of disease and control. Massive, ninety-four percent, and all these countries around the world are starting to rejig their numbers. We were talking about this from last year, that they were fraudulent with their numbers. Fraudulent. And on top of that, they didn't allow autopsies. And people say we are conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy was, brought, was uh, first came into play by the CIA, which um, was to knock off, uh, the, take people off the scent of who killed Kennedy. So they brought up this uh, um, conspiracy theories to try and make people stop or feel a bit, you know, uncomfortable, you know. So that is that on that one. Now, 
all I can say is um, let me see now another another uh, thing that we saw was that 128 postcodes in the West Midians have no Kung flu none none so why are we now why are we still creeping out of lockdown so that's more um, stats going against the government but let's get to this um, this quote again the magician and the politician have much in common they both have to draw our attention away from what they are really doing mm, I wonder what it is they're really trying to do um, what else have we discovered oh yes they say 20,000 people a day are coming into the country, coming into the UK. And out of that 20,000, 8,000 of them um, are Tauruses. <laughs> are Tauruses, yet citizens of the UK are told not they can't go out on holiday. Absolutely amazing. And I'm absolutely amazed that the the, the uh, British citizens are putting up with this nonsense telling you you can't fly and then will fine you for flying but if you say you can't fly and it's law or and they will find you then um, well you don't need to find them then because they, they can't they can't leave the country unless you can leave the country and we know you can and that got confirmed by an ex police officer called Chris Statton sorry if I've said his surname incorrectly but uh, he's been getting a lot of feedback from serving police officers and ex-police officers he did a really good um, talk on what police can and cannot do and you will be shocked absolutely shocked actually uh, he did give a quote to say to go to the House of Commons library on the internet that's the uh, coronavirus enforcing restrictions this is what the police are supposed to follow and he says to go down to 3.5 and that 3.5 is on page 20 and what it says let's see now what it says is lack of stop and account powers the police sometimes conduct a stop and account where they stop a member of the public and ask him what they are doing. There is no police power to conduct a stop and account and corona, corona, coronavirus restrictions, regulations do not and never have provided for one. So they can't use it under that regulation. In fact, they can't use it at all. So members of the public are under no obligation to answer an officer question during stop and account. They can remain silent if they do not wish to cooperate. As you know, you know, sometimes people are be, being thrown into jail for not giving their, their details, but they've not been charged. So, and there is case law to support this and back this up. And this case law is very recent, actually. It was in February where the judge ruled. But this is case law. So the police can't just do anything and everything. And I know I have police officers that follow this channel and all. And you can correct me, but I'm reading your documents. So, you know. But um, very, very interesting how... The police have illegally used or tried to use certain regulations and um, there it's illegal and I beg the police to stop doing this you know please stop doing that you know because you'll make yourself an enemy of the people you're supposed to be there to protect and serve the people and it's by consent and at the moment people are really annoyed because you're overstepping your boundaries here in going into a cathedral church stopping a service on Easter um, was it Easter Sunday 
but they stopped to surface and the police issued out a an apology well we're seeing a lot of apologies but people why do you not understand the law police officers why do you not understand the law you're apologizing but you've 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 destroyed a a a, a service of religion it's supposed to be one of the holiest days for the christians that was so out of order but anyway i'm not going to go on to on to, on to that too much now uh, what else is there what else is there uh da, 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 da. oh it, johnson and johnson have stopped um have stopped um giving a vax because of blood clots there we go and the astrazeneca for under 30s has been um has been stopped and all so the Kong flu or these vax aren't, aren't, well, I won't say too much on that because I don't want my channel to get, <laughs> to get um, stopped, but do your own research, look into that. Um, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, and the Pentagon are developing microchips, and we know who's behind that. That is Bill Gates. We know that, but they've been doing this from time, so we know they've got it. They're ready, and they want to put that into each and every body to detect this kung flu, which is ridiculous if it's starting to go and fade off. So, um, I would urge people to push that back and to fight against that. Also, to push back these um, health passports. Um, a massive infringement on our our, our liberties and it doesn't make sense if everything is going down and so for Texas by the way as I've said before in other videos have opened right up and there's no masks no social distancing to get into games of 38,000 people um, and they're having a whale of the time Florida other other countries have done the other uh, um, um, states have done the same thing no social distancing and uh, the Texas governor says Greg Abbott says um, uh, don't shred on our personal freedoms and this is the same things our so called uh, MPs should be saying to this government do not shred on our personal freedoms which you're trying to do you're trying to bring in this new world order we do not consent to that but let's um let's 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 go on so um so this texas uh governor is not having it basically he's not having it shouldn't need proof to go about your daily lives respect to him Full respect to him, you know. At least there's someone standing up for people's liberties. What's going on in this country? Anyway, I'm not gonna go on too much because I could feel myself going into a rant. You know, people, just do a, a little bit of research, just a little bit, just a little bit. Check out what Agenda 21 is, what this, what these people want to bring in, and. Um, population control and all, all this sort of stuff um so guys on that note my light's gone out <laughs> on that note i'm gonna draw this to a close but let's just read this uh this quote again the magician and the politician have much in common they both have to draw our attention away from what they are really doing and I will say what they're really doing. Look at Agenda 21. What they really want to do is microchip you. And they're using this Kung Flu as their cover story, which is such a shame. But like I said, the law is so important. Understand the law. 50% of the law to be used is to be used against you. The other 50% of the law is to defend yourself with and to rebut them and push them back understand it understand your rights your rights to travel 
it says in your on your passport on the first page the queen the bearer who this contains to give them safe passage assist them this is from the queen in your passport look on the first page it's there no one has a right to stop you you have inalienable rights rights given by god so understand your rights and move forward guys on that note take care stay blessed and i'll catch you next week take care